Hi there, I hope you're all well and it's great that you're able to join me today for this message which I hope will encourage and also uplift you. There are times in our lives when we may feel like we're in a battle and to be honest we are because the enemy we know as Satan tries to seek to destroy, he comes in like a thief in the night, he tries to destroy our peace, our hope, our health. There is good news though because there is a name above all other names, who was sent by God to show us the way. He's a lamp unto our feet, a light in the darkness, and his name is Jesus. In John eight thirteen, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. As Christians, we are called to be light in the darkness, just like Jesus. And the great thing is, as well, we don't do this alone. For in John 12, 49, Jesus said, For I have not spoken on my own authority, but that of the Father who sent me has himself given me. In John 14, 24, Jesus also went on to say, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. And then in John 16, verse 13, When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you in all truth. And God has sent us his Holy Spirit to live inside of us and he guides us. God has given us authority over all situations. That includes our finances, sickness and disease, fear. And we have the same authority that Jesus had when he cast out demons, healed the sick and gave sight to the blind. There's a song that I've been singing over situations recently uh, during my prayer times and it's called Surrounded. And the lyrics go, when it looks like I'm surrounded, I'm surrounded by you. And singing this song is a declaration that God, through his Holy Spirit, surrounds us. He fights for us. And even when we feel completely surrounded and all seems lost, God is fighting for us. In 2 Chronicles 20, when the news that the army is plotting against Jehoshaphat, in verse 3, it says that Jehoshaphat set his face to seek the Lord. All seemed lost as the armies outnumbered Jehoshaphat, but he knew that God was bigger than the situation that he was in. Jehoshaphat sent his singers ahead of the army to lead the way. And in verse 21, it says they sang, Give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. And when they began singing and praising to the Lord, the Lord set an ambush against those that were coming against Judah. And so this is a great testimony of how there is power in, in our singing and our prayers over situations. It arouses us, it uplifts us, it encourages us. And above all, God hears and acts on our songs and our prayers of declaration and petition and praise to him. I'll leave you with... Um, one or two things and the first is remember that the battles we face are not ours they are God's put your trust and set your face upon the Lord just as Jehoshaphat did and finally sing into your situations there is power in our singing and our prayer just keep praying and keep singing and I'll leave you with Psalm 95 and, and in verse 1 it says, Sing for joy to the Lord and shout aloud to the rock of your salvation. So sing for joy to the Lord who is the rock of your salvation. Be that light in the darkness. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day. Thanks for joining us today. Search for us online and get information about upcoming events and more great teaching.